just finished up some posing. I did a little bit of bodybuilding and man's physique. Got my protein right here. I just put two scoops into this uh, plastic bag, but workout complete, it was a good one too. I got a smart watch where I'm able to check out my heart rate, check out the calories I'm burning. But it's a rough estimate of always about at least 200 uh, calories to uh, burn in, this, in the workout that I do. Any workout usually, so. The good thing about a full body workout is the fact that even when I'm not working out, even when I'm relaxing throughout the day, I'm still gonna burn more calories than I would on a normal day, simply because I just exhausted my body to the full, to the fullest, you know. Got a banana for the post-workout as well. Catch you guys at the post-workout meal. Real simple post-workout meal, guys. We got some shrimp right there. I actually don't know how much shrimp that is, but we'll weigh it out after we cook it. We got some black pepper I'm gonna throw in there, some pink Himalayan, some garlic powder, onion powder, and of course some Old Bay. So we're gonna just throw that on the pan. I'm letting the pan heat up right now. I already have some jasmine rice, so we're good to go on the rice. I usually make a nice big batch of rice because I don't want to have to keep throwing rice on the stove, you know? Especially this jasmine rice, man, it takes about 15 minutes. So I usually just whip up a nice batch and every meal or every day I can just boom, hit it up, throw it in. So it's already prepped and I also do the same with my broccoli. I've also gotten pretty lazy on broccoli. I don't broil it anymore. I just your basic man throw a little seasoning on there and just throw it on the on the stove with some water man let it boil so uh keeping things real basic but as you know man we're dropping weight we're cutting we're getting back in this contest prep mode uh keeping things fairly basic but still giving ourselves some flexibility so like i said yesterday i went to hibachi for lunch um real simple i can throw hibachi in i gotta account for the extra fats that that brings but I just make sure all my other meals are super low in fat. I actually went over on fat a little bit yesterday, but hey, uh, not bad. We can account for that. What I did was I just dropped the carbs just a little bit, a little less protein, and uh, we're good to go, man. So, got to be flexible, man. All right, guys. So, I only have 2.4 ounces of shrimp right there. It's not a lot of shrimp at all. But uh, we work with what we got. Uh, good thing I had that protein shake. Also got 130 grams of jasmine rice and just some broccoli. Don't weigh out the vegetables right now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this post-workout meal down. Uh, recommendations for a post-workout meal. Get you a nice lean protein, nice portion size. Get you some carbs, uh, more so your complex. And just get you some veggies, man. So. As you see right here, that is a well-rounded uh, post-workout meal, a well-rounded meal, just living a healthy lifestyle, anything. I mean, the portion sizes are on point. So uh, that's, I do recommend that. So I gave you my recommendations for a pre-workout meal, depending on the time that you train. And here's my post-workout meal. Like I said, lean source of protein. So you can do any source of your lean fish, your boneless, uh, chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast, some lean ground turkey or beef, whatever you choose. But I definitely recommend getting some carbs in. Uh, and during prep, man, doing all that low carb stuff, you kind of drift away from that type of eating, which is recommended, man. So back when I was competing, well, back when I uh, did my contest prep on my last show, the carbs sucked, man. I had, I was, I was killing my body with just extremely low carbs. I wasn't getting in my banana post-workout. I wasn't getting in carbs post-workout in general, like my post-workout meal. And I mean, it's, it's definitely beneficial, man. You wanna keep those carbs around your workout, man. So if you are gonna go low carb, just make sure around your workout, you throw in those carbs and then you can pull away maybe early in the morning or pull away for dinner or something like that. So keep that in mind, man. But don't be afraid of the carbs. Carbs are your friend. Might not be your best friend, but they're your friend. All right, so I came to Starbucks, get some work done, man. Just chill outside. I was working on uh, studying for my GRE test for my master's. And I also was working on the website, man. So I got the website. I'm about to make it go live. 
if you're watching this video, you probably already seen the website, or you should at least have seen the website. So yeah, I'm about I'm about done with that, man. I'm about to head to go get my third meal. It's about two and a half hours since my meal meal two, so it's time to eat, man. So I'm gonna show you guys what I get. You don't fell in love with the bad guy. Tell him I ain't nothing like your last guy. Feeling like Harden with the stash spot. Hit a light like Ricky with the bag shots. Looking for a way out. So you know I bought a crib way out. Okay, can I get uh, two grilled chicken sandwiches? Okay, would you like cheese or bacon with those? Uh, no, ma'am. What else can you get for you? That's it. 1080, thank you. Thank you. All right, YouTube, so you see I'm at Wendy's right now. I just got two grilled chicken sandwiches, man. Yes, you can eat clean at a fast food restaurant, man. They make it real simple nowadays. Majority of your fast food places have uh, option of some grilled protein or even just a clean like Taco Bell you can even have like a protein bowl of some sort but they make it real legit for you man so let me show you guys what I got like I said I got two of them two grilled chicken sandwiches now my fitness pal marks these up with having I think uh, about 43 carbs 34 protein and only seven fat so Usually when they eat out, um, you gotta account for a little more fat. You gotta account for a little less protein. Carbs, you can decide what you wanna do with those, but normally, man, my fitness pal will underestimate, cause you, I mean, that's all you can do is estimate, man. It's not like the person back there cooking or even making the uh, grilled chicken sandwiches at the food factory is plugging this into my fitness pal, man, so. Just account for that, man, when you're doing a little flexible thing. But check it out. It's a real good looking sandwich, man. And as you see, it has a sauce on it. Well, check out the bun, though. The bun is like, looks it looks real good, man. Wendy's, shouts out to you. Um, the, look at the sauce. The sauce is where the fat's gonna come from. Of course, you got a little bit in the your protein source, a little bit in the chicken. But that sauce, I'm pretty sure, has the majority of the fat that is in that seven grams. So if you don't want the fat, just say no sauce or even just wipe the sauce off. But the sauce is probably what's gonna make the sandwich. Now I haven't had one of these in a long time. You see it has your spinach leaves on there as well. Uh, it's nice and warm. I haven't had one of these in a long time, like I said. So let's go ahead and dig in and see what it tastes like. not bad at all man uh, like I said the sauce is what makes it because all it is is bread and, and a boneless skinless chicken breast <laughs> so good protein for sure but you see the size of the protein 34 grams of protein sure okay so about 30 if you really want to get nitpicky with it you can bring your food scale you can actually weigh this thing out man so like if you're like deep in the contest prep you might not even want to come here, but if you just are living that lifestyle and you want to stay on point, go ahead and bring your food scale, man. No matter what you do in life, if you're doing it at a certain level, if you're doing it to the extreme, if you're serious about it, people are going to look at you and talk about you, man. That's just the fact that that's just that's just how it is, man. People are going to look at you. They're going to stare. They're going to be like, "Why is he doing this? Or why is she doing that?" But that's, that's not important, guys. It's all about what you want and what you want to do. What results you want. Just do what do what makes you happy and do it for you, man. All right, so one is almost down. Yes, I'm gonna eat the other one. 
I'm not gonna eat it on camera because it is hot out here. If you can see, I'm sweating. It's almost 100 degrees out here, guys. Texas weather, man, but I had to cut the car off because the AC was loud, but I'm pranking the car back on, listening to some music. I'm gonna eat this next sandwich and I'm gonna catch you guys later. All right, YouTube, I'm actually gonna go ahead and close it out, man. I uh, started this morning, man. I told you guys about the weight loss. Uh, we're about a pound a week uh, now because, you know, that first week of dieting, it was all about uh, that water, man. So got rid of all that. Now we're actually in diet mode, uh, a caloric deficit, of course. Nothing extreme at all, man. I'm not taking anything extreme. I'm taking everything light. I actually looked on uh, my phone and so last week was uh, last Saturday was actually 28 days out from the first competition and tomorrow is going to be 28 weeks out from the second competition that uh, I have my eyes on now 28 weeks you say it's a long time yes it's a very very long time which is why I'm taking it slow but I'm jumping on my first plane ride uh, on Tuesday, so I'm going back home to Virginia dropping my son off and I gotta account for things like that. I gotta account for the travel I gotta account for not have not be, being able to be strict, you know on my diet, you know, so Although I'm being flexible. There's still gonna come a, a point in time where I might not be able to hit my macros or I go over on macros and things like that not able to train so I'm accounting for that and 28 weeks is gonna allow me to have those diet breaks, those screw-ups that people may call it, and I'm not going to feel bad about it, no guilt. I'm going to feel good. I'm going to jump back on it after whatever happens, whatever uh, obstacle comes my way. When I'm done with that, I'm going to jump right back on my diet, my macros, and I mean, everything's going to be back intact, so that's why I'm giving myself a lot of time, so I keep that in mind throughout this prep. I'm going to be giving you guys, I said prep, yeah, I said it. I'm going to be giving you guys at least a video once a week, man, just showing you the weekly progress. Uh, you saw the posing, you know I'm down a pound, and I'm feeling good just all around. So, hit my macros, staying focused, and keeping my hormone levels up, keeping my testosterone up, and keeping the family happy, man. Because at the end of the day, family is first, and they hate it when I diet real hard, and I'm like, mood swings and all that. So, I'm doing it for them, too. So, I'm taking it slow for them. You know, and we're gonna enjoy this, man. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed the, that training footage. Hope you enjoyed the the meals, the advice I've been giving. I gave a lot of advice in this video, man. So go ahead and hit a like. Get a like, man, for this for this advice that I'm dropping on you guys, man. Come on, man. Show me some love, man. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.